Hello and welcome to Review Mobility. Our platform allows consumers to post their independent reviews on their experience with mobility companies around the UK. Head to our website reviewmobility.co.uk to learn more. In this video today, we will be covering history of wheelchairs. Let us get into the video. Wheelchairs and ramps are essential pieces of equipment for people with minimal mobility. By utilizing them, folks who can't walk may go about their own houses and other locations. For millennia, people have relied on wheelchairs. As a consequence, pinpointing the precise moment you began using a wheelchair is almost impossible. It is possible to learn a great deal about the history of many historical sites by studying the paperwork found on the site. The history of wheelchairs is extensive and intriguing. History of wheelchairs key points. Wheelchairs first appeared in China. The wooden wheelchair was devised by the Chinese in the first century AD. Since their conception, wheelchair ramps have been more popular with individuals who use them in public and private settings. Since World War II, when people became more aware of accessibility, wheelchairs have become more popular among veterans. Herbert Everest requested that Jennings create a wheelchair that would fit in his vehicle. Wheelchairs first appeared in China. The wooden wheelchair was devised by the Chinese in the first century AD. Cargo transport would have been the most common application for this aircraft. The fact that so many people relied on it to go about wouldn't have gone unnoticed had you known. They may have carried a passenger, even though they were not technically chairs. Effigy shows that they used wheelchairs in China as early as AD 525 to convey the disabled or injured. The modern wheelchairs evolution in the 21st century. You may find contemporary wheelchairs a century after they filed the initial patent application all around the globe. They had removed the unique wheelchairs rear and front wheels. Instead, the rear wheels were designed to be propelled by the rider themselves. The earlier editions of this software included floors. A second rim would have been helpful, but there wasn't one available. Bad weather might necessitate that the user pushes the wheel. Just as quickly, a new smaller circumference wheel was attached outside the original. You were able to incorporate several technological advances from the 19th and 20th centuries into your creations. Smaller and comfier wheelchairs have been developed during the last several decades. Power and motorized wheelchairs. The power chairs made by the firm were never a financial success for the company. The first electric wheelchairs were created after World War II. Due to the enormous number of disabled military veterans, electric wheelchairs were in high demand. One of Klein's many projects was designing and building electric wheelchairs. In addition to creating the first microsurgical staple gun, he contributed significantly to nuclear energy. Accessible ramps in the United Kingdom. For as long as anybody can remember, on ramps have been used to lift and carry items. Since World War II, when people became more aware of accessibility, wheelchairs have become more popular among veterans. As a result of increased public pressure, legislation was passed in the 1950s to limit the use of obstacles that are detrimental to people with disabilities. British companies were warned about accessibility issues in 1999, and they began making modifications so that persons with impairments would have no problems using the facility as intended. Adapting their property for persons with wheelchairs necessitated physical alterations in 2004. Wheelchairs that can be stowed away when not in use. A common complaint from wheelchair users is that the cars are either big or too small. They may be challenging to transport and store due to their bulk and weight. As a result, this issue must be dealt with. In 1932, American inventor Harry Jennings created the foldable wheelchair. When it's not in use, you may shrink it down to a quarter of its original size, thanks to its tubular metal frame. Herbert Everest requested that Jennings create a wheelchair that would fit in his vehicle. Jennings obliged. When folded, wheelchairs fit in the trunk of most cars, making them convenient to transport. It would help if you kept this in mind at all times as a chair designer. A folding wheelchair ramps. Portable wheelchair ramps, such as foldable wheelchair ramps, are often used by wheelchair users. Depending on the size of the vehicle's trunk, a recent model may be accommodated. Wheelchair ramps are most often constructed from aluminium. Aluminium's low weight, stiffness, and corrosion resistance make it an excellent material for various applications. In the design of portable ramps, 
it has replaced chiefly steel. It would be an understatement to say that steel ramps of the mid to late 20th century were both hefty and dependable. There are still several homemade wedge-type ramps made of durable polymers and fiberglass. They're helpful for a variety of things, including getting over thresholds at doorways. Storage in a suitcase is possible if you don't plan to use the item again. With a large handle on the top, some variants resemble bags. The aluminium channel is an alternative kind of portable ramp. They are an excellent solution for moving wheelchairs and even mobility scooters into big vehicles or in circumstances where the wheels must not slide to the side. High-lip steer wheels on both sides of the channels as they go along them. Because of this, collapsible wheelchair ramps are desirable. Summary of the fun and interesting history of wheelchairs. Wheelchairs first appeared in China. Effigy shows that they used wheelchairs in China as early as AD 525. British engineers realized that automatic wheelchairs were possible in the early 20th century. They improved the design of wheelchairs but never made a profit. Wheelchair ramps have been used to lift and carry items for as long as anybody can remember. Since World War II, wheelchair users have become more aware of accessibility issues. British companies were warned about accessibility issues in 1999. They began making facilities wheelchair accessible in 2004. When folded, wheelchairs fit in the trunk of most cars, making them convenient to transport. Wheelchair ramps are most often constructed from aluminium. With a large handle on the top, some variants resemble bags and are an excellent solution for moving wheelchairs and mobility scooters into big vehicles. So that concludes our video on history of wheelchairs. We hope you may have found this video helpful. Don't forget to go and check out some of our other videos on mobility aids mobility scooters, stairlifts, and much more. Head to our website reviewmobility.co.uk for more information.